Good morning, children. Happy, happy sunshine. Welcome to the Apple International School, Dubai. Foundation Stage 2, UW Lesson. Our learning objective for today is, learners will review about their five senses. And our outcomes are, learners will be able to understand and identify functions of each sense, name parts of the body used for each sense, how our senses help us to explore world around us, so now let's explore our five senses. Sense of sight, we see with our eyes. Sense of smell, we smell with our nose. Sense of hearing, we hear with our ears. Sense of touch, we touch with our hands mostly, right? And sense of taste, we taste with our tongue. Our senses help to make us aware of the world around us. Like we can see so many things, we can hear so many sounds, we can smell so many smells, right? And we can touch so many things and we can feel the different textures, right? Okay, children, so what do you see in the picture now? Which sense they are using? Yes, you're right. They are using the sense of hearing. Now, can you tell me what's, what part we use to hear? Yes, you're 100% right. We use our ears to hear. How many ears do we have? Can you count with me? One, two. We have two ears. We can hear things like people reading stories. We can listen to the music and fire alarm. When we hear the fire alarm, we already know that there is an emergency because we have already registered this sound in our brain, right? Now look at this picture. We smell with our nose. Can you tell me, children, how many nose we have? Yes, we have one nose. Now let's see some things which we smell. We can smell things like cookies in the oven when they are getting ready, right? So our sense of smell can help us to sense that if cookies are cooking well or they are burning, right? Then we can smell the garbage when we go near to the garbage or not even near when the garbage is there, too much garbage is there. Then if it is not properly packed, if it is just littered like that, we can smell the garbage, right? Is it a good smell or bad smell, children? Yes, it is bad smell. And what about this one? Yes, popcorn. We can smell the popcorn, right? Now we are going to talk about sense of sight. We see with our eyes and we have how many eyes? Yes, we have two eyes. We can see things like movie, like the moon and colors, right? So when we see, we can differentiate between colors like red, orange, blue. Can you look around you and can you find out how many colors you see around you? Yes. So now children, we are going to talk about sense of taste. So what part we use to taste children? Can you tell me? Yes, we taste with our tongue. We can taste things that are sour, 
We can taste things that are bitter or salty and sweet, right? Now we are going to talk about sense of touch. We touch with our skin. Actually, we use our hands and feet to touch. But it is the skin which feels different textures. So we mostly use our hands to touch, right? But when we touch, we can touch things that are hot. We can, when we touch the cup of coffee, hot cup of coffee, we can feel the hot, the heat in our hand, right? In the skin. We can touch something cold like eyes. Oh, we can touch something soft like pet dog or soft toy. And we can sense some rough things like the bark of the wood or maybe a road, the tarred road. So it's very rough. Now, time to play a game. Are you all ready? Hmm, let me see what do you know about the five senses. So here we go, children. Now look at these three body parts. Can you tell me which body part do you use to hear? Is it nose? No. Is it eyes? No. What about ears? Yes, you are right. We use our ears to hear. Good job. Let's see what's next question. Which of these objects can you hear? Now look at these three pictures over here. We can see a bell, flower and light. Tell me, children, which one you can hear? Wonderful! You can hear the bell. Good job! Let's go to the next question. Which body part do you use to smell? Wonderful! We use our nose to smell. Which of these objects can you smell children? There is a paper and pen, ball and flower. So which one you can smell here? Wonderful! You are right. We can smell the flower. Let's see what's next question. Which body part do you use to see children? Yes, you're right again. We can see with our eyes. We use our eyes to see, right? Now, which body part do you use to taste? Well, we use our tongue to taste. Tongues, they have different taste buds, right? Which of these objects can you taste? Can we taste the bag? No. What about the bed and cot? Yes, you're right. We cannot taste the bed or cot. What about an ice cream? Yes, you're right. We can taste the ice cream. What body part can you use to touch children? Yes, you're right. We use mostly our hands to touch. Now, look at these three pictures. Can you tell me which of these objects can you touch? Can we touch the clouds? Mm, you're right, we cannot touch the clouds. What about the moon? Can we touch the moon, children? Mm, you're 100% right, we cannot touch the moon. What about the dogs? Can we touch the dogs if we have it near to us? You're right, we can touch the dogs. Wonderful, you're doing great. Now it's reflection time. So let's have some tricky questions over here. Now, look at this table. We have the first one. 
here sense of touch sense of sight sense of taste sense of hearing and sense of smell now here down here you can see a flower a bell a chocolate a rainbow and a quill a feather right now what we are going to do is we have to match each picture with appropriate sense so now look at the flower hmm which sense appropriately we can match to can you think about it that is sense of touch sight taste hearing and smell yes you're right we can smell the flower right now let's talk about the second one the bell what do you think children which sense we can use appropriately yes you're right sense of hearing we can hear the bell right now let's see the third one chocolate now sense of touch sense of sight or sense of taste which one it will go to yes you're right it will go to sense of taste because because we can taste the chocolate now let's talk about the rainbow sense of touch or sense of sight which is the most appropriate one yes you are hundred percent right we can use sense of sight for the rainbow and the last one is the quill it is for sense of touch good job now you can find some items uh, related to these five senses sense of sight sense of smell sense of hearing sense of taste and sense of touch so you can find each one object and you can draw any one object for each sense like if you can uh, draw one object which you can see which you can smell so you can draw one one object for each one of them okay so now it's time to say goodbye thank you children and have a nice day bye bye see you next time